Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It's a beautiful day in Indiana. Sunny, warm, breezy, just a beautiful day. Today I have for you a drop sale of toys. Quite a few toys. And I have uh, mostly old, but there are a couple new things. My grandson <laughs> got things, never even took them out of the box. So I have a couple of his things. So um, I will run through the drop sale rules again. The drop sale will run uh, Tuesday up until Friday at uh, six o'clock. And six o'clock six o'clock Eastern and then it will be over. And anyone that buys anything from this sale um, will be added to what they buy from Friday's sale. And then I'll ship that out after Friday. Probably Monday or Tuesday. All right. Um, if you want something, um, it's, you know, it's kind of like an, a, a live sale, only you're just going to put the number in the chat. Anything you see that you want, you put the number of that item in the chat. And then at the end of the sale, I'll go through everything and see, you know, if there's more than one person that wanted the same thing, I will look and see who posted it first, and that's the person who will get it. Oh, my nose is so bothersome in the summer. So, um, if you're new to my channel, you need to send me your um, full name, your address, and your uh, PayPal address so that I can send you an invoice. Um, everything is sold... Um, but not, but the sh everything is sold with the price, but shipping is not included, so that will be separate. Um, can't think of anything else. So next next Tuesday, I will not have a drop sale. I'll be having a sale, my monthly sale with um, D. And I believe we're gonna do a red, white, and blue sale. So that'll be fun. So let's get started, shall we? Um, the first item I have are these gorgeous doll dishes. I should have turned my camera on different. That's what the cups look like. And they're in perfect shape. There's nothing wrong with them. And they're like a moriage finish. And then there's four little plates. Two are to be used as saucers and two are to be used as little like plates. Um, one of the plates has a ch little chip somewhere. Oh, there it is. Oh wait, it's not a chip. It's a imperfection, it's not a chip. It's right here. Um, they are stamped, made in Japan, on the back. And there is a darling little teapot. And a creamer and sugar. I had a set of these when I was a little girl. And for the 11 pieces, it's $7. $7 for the little China tea set from Japan. I'm gonna leave them there for now. Okay. And it is number 23. The tea set is number 23 and it's $7. Sorry, I forgot to tell you the number. Duh. All right. 
<clears throat> I have a few things here. I'll just do these. We'll put it right here. My next item is this little tiny doll. And she has a high chair. She has a cradle, but one of the little rockers is missing. And she has a little kitty. I don't know if the kitty goes with it or not. And a little baby bottle. And this is from 1973 Mattel. And it is, um, let me see. I have it written down. It's the baby from the Sunshine family. I don't know if you remember that, but they were like more dimensional dolls in a dollhouse. And um, it comes, it's from Mattel, I believe. I forgot to write that down, but I believe it's from Mattel. And the Sunshine baby with all its little accessories is $10. $10 for the little sunshine baby from Mattel. Number 30, number 30. I'll put her back in her little bed, she's gonna go night, night. Night, night. Okay. My next item is from the mid 70s. And there are, let's see how many, nine. Um, there is one, two, three, six Humpty Dumpty children's magazines. They're all from 75. This one's 79, 76, 76. They're all different months. 75, and this one's missing its cover, but it's April of 75. So I have these, six, and they have got all kinds of stories and um, little uh, things you can make. Um, science experiments, all kinds of stuff. And then I have three of the children's playcraft. It's, um, I have October, December, and January of 77. And they have all kinds of crafts in here. Um, I mean, the graphics are cool. Um, how to make different costumes and in this one but here's how to draw a dinosaur um, just all kinds of stuff that you can make and do introducing the metric system which never did catch on here's one how to make Christmas cards and making a button buzzer. So these 11 magazines Why do I keep saying 11? One, two, I think it's nine. Yeah, these nine magazines are eight dollars. Number 26. Eight dollars, number 26 for the vintage children's magazines. Okay. Um, my next item is a Barbie collectible and it is the collector edition of these um, Wizard of Oz dolls. They've never been taken out of the package and played with or anything. And I don't know what year they were made. I'm trying to look. I 
I don't know. The writing's too little. But I know it's at least, I'm saying at least 20 years ago. And so these cool dolls are $35 and they are number 27, $35 number 27 for the Barbie um, Wizard of Oz collectible dolls made in Indonesia. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to show you something, and I forgot to dust it off. That is a new, new uh, thing. It's from 19 or 2015. The receipt's still on it. This was my grandson's, and he never played with it. And it is a well, geez. The Thunder Tumbler Radio Controlled 360 Rally Car. And I... And, uh... I can do wheelies and all kinds of stuff. But it lights up, I think. I was trying to see who made it. Just as the Black Series. I don't know. But this cool toy, I mean, this would be cool for somebody for Christmas. For sure, this is number 28, $10. $10, number 28 for the Thunder Tumbler. I never had any boys, so we never got stuff like that. Okay. My next item is is this vintage Mickey Mouse Club Mouseketeer wallet. And this is raised up. It's like that plastic, you know, puffy plastic, like a what do you call that stuff? blow mold and inside it's got a place for pictures and a place for your change and then here it's got uh, some Disneyland play money I believe it's got a date on it. Let me see. No, nope, just says Walt Disney Productions. It's in like brand new shape. Obviously, the child didn't use it. Probably some, probably some aunt or something that gave it gave it to him, and he was really like sixteen. <laughs> We used to have things like that happen in our family. Anyway, the little wallet is $5, number 24. $5, number 24 for the vintage Mouseketeer wallet. My next item is this wooden, like, counting toy. It's not really an abacus, but it is a counting toy for little little babies and little toddlers. Um, I know they just love to just slide them back and forth and stuff like that. Um, I don't know the makers. It doesn't say on it. It's all wood. And it is $6, and it's number 16. $6, number 16. Okay. 
my next toy is this four piece puzzle set made by Play School. And it is um, wood or whatever they used to make them out of. It's from the year 2000. And it's all kinds of things that move. And it is $4 number eight, $4 number eight for the puzzle. And it's in really nice shape. I mean, it's in really good, clean shape. Um, my next item is new. Um, again, I don't know what year it's from. But it was my grandson's. He never played with it. It's still in the plastic inside. It is a tabletop air hockey. It's eight dollars and it's number twenty nine. Eight dollars, number twenty nine. Okay. My next item is this adorable clown bank and it's made out of like a hard plastic. It does not have a stopper. I do have stoppers and I won't be putting one in. I just have to find them. Um, I was really interested when I did some research on these to find that these used to be given away as uh, prizes at carnivals. And he's really cute and um, he is uh, $8, number 19. $8, number 19, for the cute little clown he's given the peace symbol. Yeah. Number 19. Alrighty. I have is this password game as seen on TV and it's in very nice shape it has the in, an insert it has the thing to keep score you know how they do it I don't watch in a few years but it has uh the cards that go in the little carrier for, for two different teams. It has a password score pad. And this game is from 1962. And it is $12 number 10. $12 number 10 for the password game.
I have another game, which my dad and mom played with my aunt and uncle. They love, my dad loved this game. Love, love, loved it. And this one is all here. Um, it has instructions in the bottom. It has this card holder. It's a card game. And uh, it's made by Parker Brothers. And it is from... Hmm. Well, when my dad played it, I was... Probably about 12 or 13, so... It's about 50 years old. Anyway, this game is... $10, number one. It's called Mealborn. $10, number one. Um, I have another set of, of dishes. This one's a little bit bigger and a little bit newer. Um, they have cups that look like this. I love dolls, so I was like, I always had stuff like this. Okay. It has three cups and three saucers. It has four plates. So I was thinking that, you know, one of them could be like a cookie plate or something. It has three spoons. Okay. It has a creamer and sugar. And it has a tea. And this is $5, number 22. $5, number 22 for this um, doll, or doll dish set, whatever. All right, let me see if I can get it all back together. Oh, look, even the spoons are decorated. How cute. If I had the room, I would collect these because I find them all the time. I just try really hard not to keep picking them up. Okay. next toy is this one and it comes from Sweden Brio made in Sweden and it is this little pool toy and it has a carousel and when it goes around uh, it has a little bell a little thing here that hits the bell now sometimes it doesn't I don't know maybe something needs to be tightened on it I'm not sure but but that is that is it It's in really good shape. 
and uh, it's nice and sturdy. And it is seven dollars, and it's number twenty. Seven dollars, number twenty. Okay. Our next toys are kind of a random bunch of stuff. As I told you, always oh, picking up dishes. <coughs> now, these are all. <coughs> All really old metal dishes. There's four of these saucers, I guess they are. And then there's four of these plates. And then there is two of these, no, three of these bowls that look like wood. I don't know. There's some marking on the bowls, and it says Wolverine made in the USA. And then there's this small little plate like this, and one itty bitty one like this. And then I have two other items. This is a little jello mold and a colander. But it's all metal. And it is three dollars number twenty one. Three dollars number twenty one for the assorted metal dishes. They'd be good for a kid to take and play in the sand. are always taking stuff out and playing the sand. All their dishes. I have another bank. This one is a Yogi Bear bank. Hey, hey, hey. let's go get a picnic basket. <laughs> I bought it because we stayed out at a Yogi Bear campground for many years, but we sold it and so I didn't really need the Yogi Bear anymore. So he is $12. He does have his bottom and he's number 18. $12, number 18 for the Yogi Bear Bank. These are really, these Yogi Bear stuff is collectible because, you know, it's old. It's old like me. All right, let me say, let me say. Okay. I have this little storybook um, doll, little collectible doll. And uh, oh, what does her shoe say? Where'd my thing go? There it is. Fourteen M, whatever that means. And she is from some country, but I looked and looked and looked and couldn't find out what country. 
I want to say it's something like a Scandinavian country or maybe Italy or something like that. I don't know. I, the pom-poms throw me off. But she is a storybook doll. She Her eyes open and close. She's in beautiful shape. And she is $6, number 11. $6, number 11, for the little storybook collector doll. I wish I had the top for this, too. I don't, though, but I do at least have the little cover. My next item is a real, a real winner here. It is this old metal stove. It says Eagle on the front. Um, it does not have the, the burner, you know, covers. Um, I don't know what was here and I don't know what was here. But the interesting thing about this is that I don't think it's really and truly a toy. I think it is a sample for a, a salesman to carry around to show what it would look like, which would mean it's pretty darn old. And um, I always thought it'd be cool and I'll see if I can find anything that would, would work. Um, I'll just put this on top. But I always thought you could put set a plant on top of it and have it in your kitchen. I think that would look really cool. So this stove is $10 and it's number four. $10 number four for the toy stove, for the sample stove. really cool. I know Rocky is the one that brought it to me and he he was really excited about it. The boy gets excited about anything. <laughs> Number four, ten dollars. Okay. The next thing is this cootie game. And it is missing one leg and one eye. I dropped it. I haven't found it. If I find it, I'll stick it in there. One of the heads has to be glued back together. <clears throat> but all the bodies and all the heads are there. So the dice is there. The instructions are in there. And I don't know what year this one is. It's old. It's got to be at least 1970, if not sooner. Probably the 60s. It's $10, number nine. $10, number nine, for the vintage cootie game. And you know what? You got the cooties. <laughs> All righty. My next item is an old game and it's by Parker Brothers and it's called Touring. It's an automobile game. And on back it says, Dick Hargrave, 339 Leslie Avenue, Indianapolis, Indiana. I got this game of touring on December 25th at Chicago from Uncle C and Aunt P. 1941. Um, all it's it's a card game. The instructions are in there, and all the game cards are in there. I I I love this one just for the sentiment on the back. This is twelve dollars number seven. Twelve dollars. 
number seven. For the touring game from 1941. <clears throat> okay. My next game is called Fiddlesticks. Now, when I was a kid, we called them. What did we call them? Pickup sticks. We just called them pickup sticks. That's what the game was called. So it's an exciting, fascinating, tantalizing game. And inside is the instructions, which are in here. I didn't try to get them out. I figured I'd let whoever bought them get them out. And then there's the sticks. Now, when I was a kid, they were plastic. These are all wood. I used to love to play this game. And this game is, was made in New York by the Plaza Manufacturing Company. Hmm. This is $6, no, it is $9, number six. $9, number six. My next toy. I wanted Ron to keep it, but he said no. Because he used to play it when he was a kid. But he hated it. It's really a toy one. I mean, it doesn't have any of the buttons that work on the side or anything. This accordion is $5 and it's number three. $5, number three. I suppose you could use it for, I don't know, any number of things. Any number of things. All right. My next item <clears throat> is a sweet baby girl. I have her clothes off because I want you to see her body. It's like a rubber body and it's stuffed. Um, I think at one time, maybe when you squeeze the head, it squeaked, but it doesn't anymore. It is a molded head. The eyes do not close. And um, I don't know. I'd say it's probably about 12 inches tall. All the fingers and, and toes, everything is where it should be. And this is the hideous dress it came in, but it is old. It is old, old. Someone made it for her and I took it off of her and I did wash her and wash in the washing machine. I didn't dry it because I thought it was wool and I figured it'd be, end up being too small. I do have a dress that fits her in my doll clothes and I will put a dress on her that looks appropriate. But this was the dress that came, she was in. I mean, it was, it's very raggedy now that I washed it. It's got holes in it and everything. But this sweet girl is $10 and it's number five. $10, number five. And this was probably made in the 40s, I'm going to say. $10, number five. Okay. In my room. Oh, my next game's a big one. And I'm hoping Dee's gonna watch this. Or one of those guys. And this is Philadelphia in a Box. And I'm not gonna open it up because then everything will be falling all over. I'll show you what it looks like on the back. It is like Monopoly. 
and only all the stuff is Philadelphia. You know, things about Philadelphia. And this game is $12, number two. $12, number two. Because this is where Scott lives, is Philadelphia. All righty. This is something newer. It is Baby's Book of Rhymes. It has a CD with it that plays all the rhymes. You know, like um, the Wheels on the Bus, Five Little Ducks, uh, Five Little Monkeys. And then here's the CD. And this book with CD is $8 and it is number 13. $8, number 13. I hear Bandit crying out there. My next item is, let me find them. I have Superman and Robin cards, decks of blank cards. Um, they're $5 each and they're number 25. So you, if you would like, um, Superman, you would put 25S. If you want Bat, um, Robin, I said Batman, but it's Robin. You will put 25R. They do smell kind of musty um, because where they were stored, but they're in good shape. So um, 25S for Superman and 25 are for Robin and they're five dollars each and they're old those are from like the 60s and then I have this which is four small board books of Dr. Seuss we have Mr. Brown can move can you ten apples up on top Big Dog, Little Dog, and Fox in Socks. And they're brand new and they're in plastic. And they are $6, number 17. $6, number 17. Okay. My next book is this beautiful Disney Storybook Collection. It is $6 and it's number 12. And it is um, The Lion King, Wreck-It Ralph, Cinderella, Frozen, Robin Hood, Peter Pan, I'm just naming them off some, Snow White, The Little Mermaid, Tangled, all the princess ones. Lady and the Tramp. Just beautiful stories. And they are probably short enough, you know, that you can read, read them one a day. Or one at night for, you know, take, oh, I don't know. Might take more than that, but two, three days. You could read, read them a story like that. 
And as I said, it's $6, number 12, in beautiful condition. Very beautiful condition. Okay. My next item is this Brain Busters, and it's how many games? Seven games in a case. And it's all those, you know, wood games you play with the pegs. It's seven dollars, number 14. And there, it's never been played. There's, um, Who's number one? There's golf, tennis, challenger, um, knockout derby, uh, universe, tic-tac-toe, and raceway. They're all made of wood. And there's little dice in here and plastic pegs for the different games. This would be a very nice Christmas present as well because it's brand new. Or a birthday present. And my kids' birthday is from the summer. So I was always hunting for birthday presents. For number 14, $7. It's like brand new. I mean, the case is like brand new even. And my last item is Tiddly Wings in the Space. And it's magnetic. I'm not real sure how you rig it all up, but you do it somehow. And then it has the tiddly wings in a little pocket there. Ah, okay. Well, this looks like a lot of fun. I used to love to play tiddly wings. I think I did it the wrong way. Oh, go figure. Nope. So this game, Tiddlywinks, somewhere I lost my my tag, is um four dollars number fifteen. Four dollars number fifteen for the Tiddly wings in space. Okay. Well, guys, that is all I have. That was 30, let me see, 30 different toys. So, like I said, um, as soon as this is, as soon as this is posted, you have, um, until six o'clock on Friday to um, place your orders. I hope you found something that you like, something that reminds you of when you were a kid and um, or something you'd like to share with one of your kids or grandkids to show them what you played with when you were a kid. So take care, have a great night, and I will see you on Friday. I love you guys. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe and put a thumbs up. Bye bye.